talking about Dickens, Doll with uh, the Chocolate Factory. Those are all psychedelic stories. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like and I don't know. I don't and, think and also the Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. The tornado is the come up to where is the come up that twenty that fifteen twenty minutes of where everything starts well, to change you and you're like, Whoa. and then all of a sudden there's it's colorful and there are little people. See, listen, when I trip. When I do a heroic dose, I found out what the leprechaun means, the 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 oompa loompas, the, the the little people, all the little people in all the stories. Are you sure I you haven't done it. DMT? No, no, I've never I done DMT. I don't know DMT. how you can get there. It must be a this, heroic dose. It has to be a heroic dose. Heroic dose of mushrooms. Leprechauns. Heroic, yes, because this is what happens. Like, but this is what like, happens. I don't like, see them. Mushrooms for me are sort but of you, like you don't see them. acid light. It's like... It's well because you haven't done a heroic dose. No, I've never done a heroic. Do dose. yeah. Well, hook yourself up and do it right. It's all about set and set. I don't well, fuck I, around you with it. Down to Florida, let's do this together. I'll come up to Maine. We'll just. That would be the most awesome thing ever, <laughs> dude. There's a clip. There's a fucking promo. Yeah, man, I would trip with you any fucking day. Um, yeah. Obviously, now we obviously we would be good tripping together. Um, but here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing. What was I just gonna say? Shit, My shit, wife will shit. kill me. She gets very upset. Are the, you going the, to her, go oh, to one the of your mushroom parties? Here, right? here's what it is. Here's what it is. What happened? I, which I found this on my first heroic dose, and it's happened ever time ever since. Which has only been like seven or eight since the the first heroic dose. Like I said, I only do it once or twice a year. That was like yeah. yeah. And it's well, no, I'm sorry, seven or eight, more like no, nah, more like twelve ish. Um, yeah. With ever since that first one, what happens is. Somewhere in my peak, it's usually after after the come up, which is the twisty part of the mm-hmm. chocolate factory before he opens up the door and sings the imagination song, and there's mushrooms everywhere. <laughs> anyway, uh, or the tornado for the Wizard of Oz, or there's always a come up thing, which is that kind of weird thing, and then boom, and then you're in your peak. Yeah. And uh, and then when in my peak, when my peak starts, I learn that I have to have a roll of paper towels because I'm my I'm gonna. The, the tears of forgiveness that Bill Hicks talks about, uh, and then everybody, you know, those tears of forgiveness, yeah. those start coming. I have to do this, and I yawn for like five minutes straight to where I start to worry that I'm going to get lockjaw. Wow. Uh, it happens every fucking time. And then, and then a few minutes after that, all of a sudden I hear... <laughs> I hear a bunch of giggling from like little people on my shoulder. Oh, wow. And just like, and it's not scary. It's fucking, oh, this is awesome. It's like a cat. Here like they licking are. my fucking neck, right? You're and back. Just, and You're back. Yes. It's been so it, long. The first time it happened, it was like, I know this. Kind of like the high thing before. The, oh the weed thing. Um, because it's our natural religion. What's he what here? We're supposed oh, to be here, doing. Here, here. So here's the thing. Yeah. So just like when you have a twitch in your eye and when you have it, and then as soon as you look in the mirror, it stops. Same thing to where as soon as you turn your head, oh, it's gone. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> that's the fucking leprechaun. The golden, the, the gold, the pot of gold is the trip itself for the healing I'm to know feeling, that, oh, that's I'm right. We're like all I'm, one. I'm this is all like a this game. Is, this is all an episode of Star Trek where it was the Western one. What's the Western one? The fake thing. What was I the feel name? like I'm trapped in a, I'm suddenly in a, a dorm. Like this is a dorm. Like this is a dorm conversation. Did, did you, did you see, uh, oh, I'll tell you something about on back to Gingerland. Not that I'm, you know, but I just no, want to say, I'm going to hear this through the Wayne filter. Okay. Uh oh. The story of Gingerland is Holly, Nicholas, and baby Jim are ginger siblings. They're three little cookies. They live in a place called Gingerland. Okay. Gingerland is this winter wonderland dominated by the by the by by the ginger mountain house or Gingerland Mountain House, right? Mm. This huge sort of hotel. That Who's gonna animate in. this thing? And I have no idea. And it's it, going to be you awesome. Know, and, the, and, and gingerbread people are doing little chores and they, they sing carols. And it's always Christmas in Gingerland. Always. It's right around oh, yeah. the corner. Christmas is always right around the corner in Gingerland. And so they're up at the top, top of the farthest hill in a gazebo. And Baby Jim falls through a, a, a hole. In one of the boards. It's a, a rabbit butter, hole? It's a, no, it's a butter brickle floor. And it cracks. And baby Jim falls down this hole. And so then, you know, being the brave one, um, Holly goes, dives in after B- 
baby Jim. And then Nicholas, after some consternation, jumps in after Holly. And they find themselves digging their way through packing peanuts. A trinity? Okay. So it's like they're, they're, they're burrowing. They have to burrow through these styrofoam peanuts, right? It's packing peanuts. <laughs> Okay, and then they find a door. They what? find a little. They find a little what? hollow part. They find they Jim find Morrison. A door, and they have to push hard. Sorry, they get the door him. open. Right, Hacky they all have to. Him. They all have to push together, and the door opens, and they tumble out onto a big rug. They find themselves in this place that is like a, an absolute duplicate of the ginger uh, the gingerland mountain house in every detail except it's not made out of gingerbread it's not made out of candy it's made out of like wood and stuff it's like and it's giant it's ginormous okay and and they're looking around and it's like they try to get back into the they they they're they, they're like trying to figure out what's going on and, and so they they climb up onto a chair to get a better look at where they came from because there's this big box like a skyscraper above them. they can't see anything and they see that gingerland is a display in the lobby of this hotel and that's where they've lived their whole life <laughs> i just came in my pants okay that's twice in one podcast <laughs> you're good sexy so anyway so they realize that the place they're from is in, and it's in the lobby. It's basically a duplicate, a gingerbread duplication of Russian doll story of the what what's it's of this hotel that they're in. Oh, sorry resort. for saying Russia. It's sort of like the Mohawk Mountain House. It's, it's better place. It's up, it's upstate New York. It's this Victorian hotel, and so they're they're inside there, and before they know it, they hear this horrible sound. Boom, 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 boom. And this big giant woman comes in the room. And she's Millie, the killer maid. She comes in, she's she's vacuuming, but they don't know what a vacuum is. And they see her vacuuming up all these all these styrofoam peanuts. And she sees the doors open and she closes it. She locks it with a golden key. And the whole story is about these three kids. You know, they end up the the, the bad guy is 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 Crystal Klingendorf. And she's this horrible corporate creature who is working for this big conglomerate that owns the hotel and now she's been put in as general manager and she's decided I'm going to impress everybody I'm going to I'm going to totally Love I'm going to totally angle. like reshape this hotel this is this mausoleum's been buried in the cat skills I'm going to turn it into a world class luxury resort and like first on her list is I got to get rid of that cheesy ginger land that's going to the incinerator, man. I'm going to huh. do something that's going to be spectacular. The good find stuff in the trash. So, Weird. Yeah, and then, and they, Weird how corporate they, stuff they does get that. chased by her cat into the wall. Right, there's a mouse hole in the wall by the fireplace. They run in through the mouse hole and they find themselves inside the walls of the hotel. And inside the walls of the hotel, they discover a whole bunch of ginger people who fell out of Gingerland. And never were able to get back in. So they're kind of crumbly. Some are missing limbs. They're like, you know, they're old gingerbread people, right? And they uh, live inside the walls of the hotel in this place they've created called Ginger Haven, right? And they all they eat is candy and pecan pancakes and shit. Then so <laughs> <laughs> fucking diabetics. Yeah, no, you know what? Here's the thing. That's why they're, they're missing they're, limbs. There's songs. <laughs> the can't in it. Fly. Actual, if you God, I'm it, funny. There's songs in it. There's po there's verse. I've got a bunch of verse inside it. Dude. Just like Ronald Dahl would do. And and what other people would do with these kids' books. And so I said, Oh, this is fun. I can do that too. I can stretch that muscle. So I have I have one where they the Mrs. Clinton Mrs. she hires this this guy. He's a third rate like window display. Uh, artist in Manhattan, but he she runs with such mediocre people that they all treat him like he's Leonardo da Vinci. So she hires him to come up with a new Christmas display, which is obviously going to be horrific, right? But his name's Monty Espinoza. So you know, and 
it's like it's like he's you know the the bad guys are the kinds of people you really kind of hate now <laughs> um but the the verse in it they mention oh this place needs to be pulled out like a rotted tooth and you know nicholas is going what's a tooth like uh. Like, I don't know what, it, like gingerbread people don't have teeth. Right. So gingerbread people have never been to the dentist. They can't get cavities. That's why it's just all they eat is just stuff that's bad. That's why they don't have teeth. Because they, <laughs> they don't need they teeth. Eat, They're gingerbread people. They eat another, they've made They're, and all people of color. It just depends on how long they were left in the oven. Because, <laughs> you know, that's true of like us too, isn't it? You know, I, so, I mean, diversity is covered on this one. I got that, you know. But all I'm saying is, is if you, your listeners are going, oh, I don't want to read a kid's book. This really is a kid's book, as Wayne can attest to. I want you to run that through your uh, hero oh, dose filter dose. and tell me what I'm really writing about there. I already know. <laughs> Dude, I already said it. It's the Russian doll. It ends up being, goes all the way back to the Amanita muscaria mushroom originating in so Russia. Ha- it's not a and the twisted. Russian doll, you're talking yeah. a Russian doll story or the Truman, sto- Truman Show story. It's a different version. Yeah, you yeah. find yourself out of what you Sorry to say Russia so much. into a completely new reality. And it's dangerous. It's a Fucking, dangerous reality. I can, I was, dude, as you're talking, I'm, I'm watching it animated. It's got a bunch of different animation. It went from Bill Burr's uh, Bill Burr's animation on his show mm-hmm. uh, to uh, Duncan Trussell on his on Netflix. Uh, well, I, I can't just, remember. All that. I want to do is I it was it was books. going in and out of different kinds of animation. When you when you mentioned the maid, the fucking maid from the Jetsons popped into my head. <laughs> dude, that's it was She's awesome. Not that. Dude, and she's I, Millie I, the Killer Maid. There's the Millie the thing, Killer I have Maid. a paper towel for what and I did the, in my the pants. Cat, the vicious cat is called Cuddles. Yeah. Cuddles. Of course. Of course. She's a hairless Egyptian, Ugh. you know, named Cuddles. Oh, how dare you do that to Cleopatra? 